Happy 20, 21st birthday, Chris, from the KISS Army founder. What's up, Slam Dancers? Today on Slam Dance with Chris Team 16, we are here at the Indianapolis Kiss Convention, here celebrating my 21st birthday. And we are hanging out here with Bill Starkey, founder of the Kiss Army here in Indianapolis. Dude, how does it feel, this, the Kiss Army, man, that you've been able to throw apart and found something for such a big fan base, man? It's incredible that it's gone on this long. I, I can tell you. We never thought that uh, something like this would last this long. I mean, I'm close to 60, 62 years old. It's in November, so it's like, it's just amazing. I mean, in generations like yourself, it's just, you know, I never would have thought it would go this long. No way. Yeah, a lot of bands have come through and fallen on. You've seen that because you've been around for a minute seeing all the bands, man. Yeah. So, um, the Indianapolis KISS convention, man, how long have you been coming to these conventions? I've come to about at least 18 of the 20 of them. It's real easy for me to do that because I live here. So um, it's, it's, it's been very convenient for me. I don't travel a lot. So, uh, and plus, these two guys, are Steve and Keith, are probably two of the most professional people running expos. And that's why they've done so many of them. And when you, when you work with these kind of guys, you kind of know you're going to get what you, you know, you're going to get what you What's going I mean, they're just pretty professional people, you know? They so, really are, so man. You know when you're doing their expo that it's going to be done right. Be sure to check out KISS Army Warehouse, guys. You can find a link to that below in the description. Now, Bill Starkey, man, I got some questions I want to ask you. All right. What is your favorite KISS album, man? Uh, Look it up. <laughs> Alive. KISS Alive, Kiss dude. Alive. My personal favorite, too, man. KISS Alive is just such a phenomenal album with it being the first live album this kind of set the way for for live albums yeah exactly there weren't any live i mean you didn't do a live album in the 70s until kiss of life and um it's it's a tough choice because there's a lot of them i like but that was the one that probably made the most life-changing impact on me that i could still go back and listen to and still still smile you know yeah i feel that every time i listen to it man to me i mean obviously i didn't live in that time but when i listen to it i sure feel like i'm in the 70s man i can feel that party mentality kiss is trying to pull up, you know, you're gonna rock and roll party tonight! <laughs> you know how it goes, man. Right on, man. So, Bill Starkey, what is your favorite KISS memory you can recall? Getting on stage in front of my own hometown in Terre Haute, Indiana, and getting a plaque from the band, which is still hanging in my house, calling me an honorary member of the band in front of a good part of the people in my high school who gave me a hard time about Kiss. Wow. So there they are in the paying audience watching me get an award in a standing room only crowd. And at that time, only the second standing room only concert in the history of our, our city. So yeah, that was that. That's hard to top. Anything out there, you know, that was the ultimate. And then plus, I got to watch most of that last three or four songs uh, from the stage, sitting on an ample case with Bill Coin. So that was pretty cool. Oh, so you got to hang out with Bill Coin, man? Yes, I did. Well, I mean, they had to. We had to do something. So you know, I mean, Bill. Uh, I mean, that was also the day I met Bill, and, and um, we had been planning the Kiss Army invasion of Terre Haute. Uh, about a month before then, so it all came to a, a head right then. So yeah, that was a cool experience. You just can't can't top it, you know. Well, we didn't watch most of the show like that, so my ears were ringing for days. <laughs> oh man! Now, Bill Coin, what is your most fond memory you have of him? Bill was a very professional person, very well spoken, and I'll never forget. I think it was seven or eight months later when I was lucky to see the band in the hotel lobby at uh, St. Louis after a two-night show in Keele Auditorium. And Bill, Keele Auditorium, Bill, I know it's from St. Louis. I Bill know gave me um, a big hug and he says, look, you're famous, and he gave me a copy of Kiss Originals. And I opened it up and inside the bubblegum cards, I was in there with the band. I was just floored. I mean, come on, I'm in a Kiss album. And, you know, this is summer of 76. So that was probably my favorite Bill Coin memory. 
That's really cool, man. He but, was just—he was pretty excited to give it to me. I thought it was neat, you know. Of course. Now, do you have anything else you'd like our viewers to check out? Um, no. I just think it's neat that these Kiss fans all over the, the world cross so many generations and so many um, different types of people. And I'm never bored at these things because you get to meet so many different people. I mean, I could sit down and probably want to interview interview you and find out what did you, what did you as a 21 year old see that you know me at my age would you know how we would connect and something like that because to me that's just quite fascinating you know because you think this would be something for us old people to be at but you know not fake so dude it's kiss man and yeah. the rock and roll it is passed down from generation to generation yes. that i mean i've been seeing many dynasty kiss walking around out yeah. here man like those kids know what's up. I don't know if they know what it is, but they know what's up, man. Right, yeah. right on. Well, that's all we have on Slam Dance with Christine 16 today. Be sure to check out Generations of Kiss. You can find a link to that below in the description. We have Bill Starkey, founder of the Kiss Army here at Indianapolis 2018 Kiss Army Warehouse Expo. And we are out. Whoa! Fire!